Hello all, today we will talk about using enumerators, maps, and structures to assign values to blueprints in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. In this example, we're going to create a blueprint that allows us to change the visual qualities of a blueprint. First, in our content browser, let's right-click New Blueprint, Actor. Let's call this BP Actor with properties. Right click again, new material, M underscore simple color. One more time, right click uh, and call this, this is going to be an enumerator. Let's call this E underscore property type. And one more time under blueprints, we'll create a new object of structure type, and we'll call this st underscore object properties. So let's just go over what we've done. We've created a blueprint, which will be the object whose values we are changing. We've created an enumerator, which is a name value. It is effectively a string that we can use to associate uh, different um, values with and the struct we'll create. We've created a material we've created a structure, and the structure is where we will house a list of properties associated with each blueprint type. So let's start with the enumerator. Uh, in the top left, select Add Enumerator, and we're going to do this three times. Let's make one sphere. Actually, let's name this. Let's call this Yellow Sphere. Um, red Cone and green cylinder. So these are the names of objects in which we will later create values for. Let's go into our structure, double click, and let's add a series of variables. So a structure is, a set, is effectively a list of values that we can use um, and fill them in with the values of our choosing. So let's make one a color and this is going to be a variable type linear color. And let's make a new variable and let's make this static mesh. This is going to be a variable type static mesh. Scroll down, it's gonna be right here. And let's add one more variable and let's do a uh, scale multiplier. And this will be of type Float. So now uh, we have the type of object for which we will describe in the editor that we can easily select and associate pro um, properties with, a structure which is a sort of library of variables that we can select and create instant, unique instances of. And now let's jump into our material. Double click. I'm going to press 3 and left click to create a vector 3 um, in my material. Uh, browser. I'm going to right click, convert to parameter. Let's call this color. I'll drag this into base color, hit save. Now let's do our blueprint logic. So I'll open up my blueprint by double clicking. Let's go to the construction graph. Let's add our variables first. In the bottom left, say new variable by clicking on the plus sign. And let's call this selected type and this will be our enumerator. So this is gonna be E underscore property type. I'll select that. Let's make this visible. This will be how we, if we drop our blueprint into the environment, how we can select from this dropdown to identify which properties we want to apply to our blueprint. So let's also add a map, <clears throat> which is how we will associate our enumerator with the structures that we'll set, the, the values that we set in the structure. So let's call this type map. And I will go up here to the top right and turn this from a single variable value into a map. And a map is simply put away to associate a value with a, another value. So in this particular situation, um, you'll see that when we first, we'll set the type of structure. So in the top right, 
we'll change this from integer to st underscore object properties. And let's see. And then when we say plus, uh, you see one of the enumerators pop up. And so let's start with our green cylinder. So the color that we want as described by the name is gonna be the green cylinder. So let's make this color green and we'll also set our alpha value. Let's make this of scale two and we want this to be a cylinder. So we'll apply this mesh. Now let's add our yellow, let's add our red cone and then our yellow sphere. We'll go through and add the properties for these as well. Let's make this scale three, and then this is gonna be a cone. And then our yellow sphere, let's make this yellow. And then we'll make this scale three. And then this is gonna be a sphere. Um, so now we have effectively a, a list of different associated item names with uh, values. And now let's, let's program the logic. So let's add a static mesh component. I'm gonna drag this into here. And I'm gonna also drag in my selected type. And I'm gonna drag in my type map. So what we need to do now is pull the values out of the map and associate the selected type from our viewport uh, with the values in the map and then apply those properties to our static mesh. So let's pull off of our map and say find. This allows you to basically find the key value that is in the map and find the associated properties with it. So for instance, if our selected type is yellow sphere, then the properties that the, the variable value that will be spit out the other side of the find is the value in our map that is associated with yellow sphere. So we could expect that when we put the yellow sphere as our selected type, this structure, when we split this, the values, the color would be yellow for our yellow sphere. The scale multiplier for yellow sphere would be three and then the mesh would be the material sphere. So with those, let's do the following. Let's create a dynamic material instance on our mesh and we'll use our simple color material that we created before here. Let's set material on our static mesh. And then also let's set vector parameter value. And before we called this color, and then let's wire our value from the struct into the color value here. Let's then copy this over here. Let's set world scale 3D. We'll pull off here. We're going to right click here and split the struct pin. And let's drag this in here. And then finally, we need to set the static mesh. Um, and why don't we actually do that just at the beginning? So we'll move all this stuff over a little bit. And we will set static mesh. And we'll pull this into here, this into here, and this into here. We'll hit uh, compile and save. And now when we drag our actor into the viewport, we can see that first it is a yellow sphere by default. And when we drop down and change the values in this enumerator, the properties we've reflected from the desired color, as well as the static mesh itself and the scale values are reflected uh, in the viewport when it constructs. 
So this sort of workflow can be extremely valuable when you want to set saved um, groups of data or variable settings on different objects. For instance, let's say you have a character who is supposed to be wearing a green shirt, blue pants, and his name is Bob. You can set those values so that that character can dynamically populate a shirt color and pants color and a widget above the character's head that says their name. Um, there's many different unique instances that you could use this sort of logic, but enumerators and structs and maps can be very useful when used together. That's all for today. Thanks, guys.